Hey, this is Jackson. Since there were a lot of questions about how I was able to achieve high construction rates, I decided to share my experiences with construction with you. I had to explain some mechanics and to show you what you should focus on to maximize your con XP rate and your total build rate. First of all, when starting the game, many bonuses are not included to your overall construction rates, which is why the offline progression for XP as well as uh, for build rate and flag rate is significantly lower than while being active. Only when the cockboard is opened once, all the bonuses become active. The bonuses remain active as long as the map or the char is not changed or if the game is not restarted. Otherwise, certain bonuses have to be reactivated by opening the cockboard again, which can be done via uh, the codex. Once activated, the bonus remains active until the map or char is changed again or the game is restarted. Um, talent attacks are not automatically performed by your char as long as the cockboard is open. Hence, if you want to slay monsters actively, open the cockboard once to apply the bonuses and close it afterwards. As you can see here, um, the mana display is not changing because uh, the talents are not being used. I think it is mainly the Squire's Redox Rates uh, talent that is deactivated in, in this context. So whenever you change the map or the char or restart the game. Speaking of the Squire talent, Redox Rates, you do not need to be active on a Squire for the skill to be activated by opening the cockboard. However, due to a mechanic regarding alchemy bubbles, it is extremely beneficial to be active on a warrior in order to maximize construction rates. As long as you are active on a warrior, the warrior's rule bubble increases the effect of all orange passive bubbles, for me, by a factor of 2.42. The most important bubbles for construction that benefit from warrior's rule are carpenter, uh, which increases the build rate based on your highest construction level, and Call Me Bob, which increases construction XP. Now, Call Me Bob, while not a passive bubble, is treated as such by Warrior's Rule on all non-active chars. In other words, the Warrior's Rule bubble increases the effect of the Call Me Bob bubble on all chars that have it equipped, except the current active one, as long as you are active on a Warrior. So let me show you some proof. My main squire has a total build rate of 750k per hour right now. If I change to my barb, which is another warrior, the build rate changes to 556k per hour. On my second squire, the build rate is the same as on my warrior. If I change to a different char, I have a lower build rate, uh, which is due to the effect of Warrior's Rule uh, affecting Carpenter. My active squire, on the other hand, has even higher uh, rates because he has uh, construction ovals not only in uh, his family slots, but also in his personal slots. So as you can see, construction ovals have a very high impact on your build rate, which gives me a total of uh, 208 build speed compared to a total of 119 on my barb. And the same should apply to all the other chars. A piece of advice, if you plan to combine construction ovals, you should already start re-rolling bronze ovals until they get a bonus of plus 1% build speed. This costs significantly less shards than with already upgraded ovals, and the effect can be transferred when you combine them. The price for bronze oval is one uh, fragment, one shard per try, the silver is already three, and goes up the higher you upgrade them. 
if you want to transfer the uh, bonus effect uh, that you rerolled on the obol, uh, you have to put the upgraded obol on the left slot when combining because the left slot will always be upgraded and uh, carried over and the right one will always be sacrificed. Ooh, first try, nice. The construction obols as well as other build speed bonuses such as Redox, Raid's Talent, the Carpenter Bubble, which in turn is positively influenced uh, by Warrior's Rule, but also the con level of the char itself also have a positive effect on the con exp rate. Apart from the mentioned bonuses um, that also boost con exp rate, uh, there's a bubble, the visible ink bubble, that boosts construction XP gain, which I think is a multiplier. The saw stamp, the seesaw statue, and the sharper saws talent. Right now, there's no shrine that affects construction in any way. And by the way, XP converter for construction is not working. The heart of construction rates is the cockboard. Here, I don't want to show you a beginner's guide, but uh, what I do with my board to optimize rates. As you can see on the right, the base rate of my uh, con level 322 Squire is by far the highest, even over 20 times higher than that of all my other chars, with the exception of uh, my second Squire, uh, who has a significantly lower con level than my main Squire, but also a higher level um, than my other chars. Here you can see immediately that the construction level has an enormous impact on uh, the base rates, so all the construction rates. For this reason, I try to maximize the con level of a single squire in order to get the maximum uh, out of a build rate build. Chars with significantly lower levels than um, your main char can actually be ignored uh, with an optimal board and placed in the cock shelf to produce cocks. However, I use my second squire for my build rate build, which I will show you later on. I'm currently increasing the con level of my squire again, as I don't want to upgrade any towers or other buildings at the moment. So my XP build looks like this. My main squire is placed somewhere at least two spaces horizontally and two spaces vertically away from the border, so that the maximum amount of player construct XP boosters can point at him. The rest of the board is filled with the best bonus construction XP cogs I could pull. The sum of the bonus construct XP values of all cogs on the board is shown here at the player XP bonus and affects all chars whether on the board or on the cog shelf. Player construct XP boosters act as an additional multiplier for the con XP. Not every booster is its own multiplier but the sum of all booster cocks directed at one char is one additional multiplier for the construction XP for this particular char. They are aiming on more chars, then of course it's a boost and multiplier for more chars. I think the optimal setup is to have a square of boosters where in the middle is the char you want to boost, and then aim uh, row and column cocks uh, at him as well. As you can see, every single of these boosters in this square is aiming at my main square. And if you are interested, I will show you my individual booster values on the board as well. With everything I've shown you, my con level 
322 Squire achieves a construction XP rate of over 83 million per hour and thus increases his con level by over two levels per being active 24 hours on a warrior other than himself. I will now swap over to a build rate build to see how much build rate I can actually achieve and to show you how similar this will look. So this is my build rate build. Now all the boosters are changed to build rate boosters. And I have placed my second squire here, which is also boosted by three more column cocks uh, down here. If I would have a copy of these boosters here, I could place this whole square one to the right, actually also these, and then boost the second squire by uh, the copy of these cocks if I place them to the left. That would give me some more build rate, but uh, actually I don't have more boosters right now. I could also place the squire down here, and instead of three extra column cocks boosting him, I could place seven row boosters uh, instead here if I would have them. Yeah, but that's that's what I have right now. I'm reaching 19.5 million build rate per hour with this build. Um, I have placed Excogia here because it gives 5% build rate to everything and you can place it anywhere. Um, but as you can see, if you remove one part and the bonus is gone, it's not a huge difference. So if you have it, place it. If you don't, well, it doesn't make such a big difference. That's it for my construction video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, maybe I could help you uh, somewhat to optimize your own construction. If you have any questions, you can always ask in the Discord or just leave a comment below.